Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I'm Pastor Joe Fox, and, and a thought occurs about potential bug out locations or places to live even better. And uh, right now I'm driving on the Western Kentucky Parkway, and we have been driving for miles uh, through the hills of Western Kentucky, and we haven't passed a road. We haven't, we're, we're going west, and we have not bisected a north south road. Then it strikes me that, um, that's a good thing if you wanted to live to the north or the south of this east-west road. There, there's no roads out here. Um, and no roads means no people walking by your place, that kind of thing. It also strikes me, if you remember in Isaiah 40 and 9, it says, amongst other things, get me to the high mountains. Now, the hills of western Kentucky are not high mountains, but living in the hills is always a good idea um, because they're not normally as populated as other areas. And uh, low population is typically a good thing for you. Keeps people away from your place. Places of low population typically have less laws on what you can and cannot do with your land. Uh, you know, if you want to move four trailers onto your one acre lot and, and have a little tight community, do that in my part of the Ozarks you could not do that you know in northern Virginia um, so yeah get thee to the high mountain at least get thee to the hills and a place where there's not a whole lot of roads pretty good idea now we're approaching a, uh, a town up here we're coming to land between the lakes and so it's starting to get more populated and now we're starting to see roads uh, something to think about and I'm sure somebody will comment well western Kentucky is not a great place because you know Fort Campbell's there Fort Campbell's an army base that's the home of the 101st Airborne, uh, 5th Special Forces Group, and 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, which means it has a big nuclear TRP on it. I, I get that, but I'm just talking about uh, backwoodsy kind of places. All right, get rural. Come out of her, my people. I'll see you out there.